So now let's talk about the boolean modifier which is essential to how this method works. First let's get a good understanding of how this method works and what the issue with the current method is. Here I have a cylinder. Now let's pretend this cylinder is the fuselage. The way the UV mapping of this cylinder is, the way that Asobo have done it in the San 7 at least, is that if I was to, let's say, make a livery of this and write something on this side, let's say I'm making a livery of Wiz Air. So I write Wiz Air. If I look on the other side, it's flipped. That's just the way the UV mapping has been made for the 747. Now to overcome this issue of the flipping text, a user named Moogs came up with a solution which is very simple but brilliant. Let's add a plane. You can do this by clicking on add mesh or I prefer keybinds so that would be shift A mesh and then plane. Let's bring this out in front of the fuselage, just like this. And let's position it next to the wizard text. And let's also match the height and positioning from this angle of the wizard text. Something like that, approximately. You'll now go into edit mode by pressing tab or going up here into edit mode. Take this plane and extrude it by pressing E all the way until it pops out of the other side. We can now go to the modifier menu, click on add modifier, click on boolean, intersect, fast and here with this uh, eyedropper you select the object that is the fuselage or that is the object which the decal is being added to. So here it would be cylinder. So as you can see, both of these edge parts which were protruding out now stick to the cylinder. Let us apply this modifier. Now as you can see in X-ray mode, X-ray mode and edit mode, there are faces that are sticking to the cylinder on each side and there's also f like four faces in the middle which we can then get rid of. Now we have two planes sticking to the surface of the cylinder. We'll take each of these planes anywhere from 2 cm to 10 cm away from the fuselage. I usually go with 2 cm so that would be minus 0.02 and the other one as well. So for demonstration purposes here let's pretend that this cylinder is the fuselage. So we have now two planes that are curved with the fuselage that are sticking 2 cm away from the fuselage on each side. Now using some blender magic which I will explain later when we actually get to the plane itself, we will add the text onto this plane. And using some more magic, I've made it so that on each side, the text is straight. The way this works is, since you have a plane over the fuselage, you can't edit the UV map of the fuselage of course. So you add a plane on top of the fuselage, which you have much more control over. And you UV map it in such a way so that none of the sides are flipped. This is the basis of this method. 